Today we're going to talk about the correct sizing of a pressure regulator. When sizing a pressure regulator, we utilize the valve flow coefficient or CV value. This value represents the flow capacity of the pressure regulator. There are four main factors that we take into consideration. The inlet pressure, the outlet pressure, the media and the flow rate. This information is required to enter into a CV equation. This CV calculation uses all of the variables to determine the orifice size or seat size required. It is useful for us to understand the maximum and minimum values of each of those four elements to ensure the pressure regulator is suited well for your application. Once we have the theoretical CV value required, we compare this with our flow curves for the pressure regulators. Here is an example of a flow curve. We split this into three sections. First, we have the initial droop of the regulator. This occurs within the first 0 to 10% of the capacity of the regulator itself. It is a normal phenomenon caused by the system starting at a static condition and moving into a dynamic condition. We then have a relatively stable outlet pressure over a large increase in flow rate. This occurs between 10 and 80% of the capacity of the regulator and is where we want to size the pressure regulator. And finally, you enter the choke flow regime between 80 and 100% of the capacity. It is our aim to effectively size a regulator to find the perfect fit under the varying conditions presented to us. We can utilize different loader mechanics, balanced main valves, seat materials, sensing mechanisms to tailor the product to your application. For more information on how to size a regulator correctly, please feel free to contact us here at PressureTech.